Hello, and welcome again to the latest podcast from Fred Waring's America here at Penn State's University Archives. We have a great video podcast this month celebrating America's Independence Day, featuring the patriotic music of Fred Waring and the Pennsylvanians. In my time working with the Fred Waring Collection at Penn State, I anxiously waited for July 4th to roll around so I could finally unveil Fred Waring's patriotic music. It's no secret that Fred loved America and loved paying tribute to our great country through music. Fred Waring and the Pennsylvanians were known for their musical talent and incredible musical aptitude. But as I watched the videos of Fred and the Pennsylvanians, it became clear to me that they put a little something extra into their patriotic music. Perhaps Fred felt, as I feel, that the 4th of July is one of America's great holidays, not just because of the celebration of our independence, but because it gives us a chance as Americans to combine so many of our holiday sentiments and feelings into one holiday. For me, American patriotic music seems to capture the emotion of the holiday better than any others. We have so much to be thankful for here in America, but I want to extend a special thank you to all of our current servicemen and women and all of our veterans and their families. Without their sacrifices and their family's support throughout history, we would have little to celebrate on the 4th of July or any other holiday. I hope you all have a chance to sit down, relax, and really celebrate this holiday weekend. Remember what we are celebrating and all that we have to be thankful for in America. As the song points out, where in the world but in America can we sing true freedom songs? Happy 4th of July, 2011, America's 235th birthday. Enjoy the video. Hello, everybody, and thanks for coming. Tonight's program is dedicated to our American heritage, the ideal of Americans helping Americans. Four years ago in New York Harbor, the 28th of October, was a dreary, drizzly day. The thousands of people had no difficulty uh, seeing what they wanted to see on that day, the unveiling of the Statue of Liberty. Faces peered up into the sky from tugboats, rowboats, ferryboats, ocean liners, and when the cloth fell from the face of the statue, whistles blew and bells rang and shouts mingled into a bedlam which has seldom been surpassed. Years later, at a much quieter but equally important ceremony, a bronze tablet was unveiled at the base of the statue, a tablet upon which were the words of a poem written by Emma Lazarus. And tonight we sing those words and the music of Irving Berlin composed for them to honor the 64th birthday of the Statue of Liberty.
What a wonderful word together is. Let us break bread together. We can accomplish so much by working together in our country, which is threatened. We must have faith in America. We must express our patriotism and our faith in our, our religions and overcome our prejudices. We must speak and think and voice our thoughts. We must put our house in order, too, and the time is now. The time is now. The time is now, the time is now, it's time to meet the writing on the wall, for it says don't wait, tomorrow is too late, the day is here, the time is now, we must get our house in order, set it straight again, seek the truth to make us great again, with love to lead the way, there's a guiding light for The time is now, the time is now. Where in the world but in America? Where, oh, where but in America? Where in the world but in America? Can you sing true freedom song? Can you sing true freedom song? Where in the world but in America? Where, oh, where but in America? America.